Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome yourselves back to a very different video today. There has been some very, very important news released on, you know, the EA Sports Twitter, which is at EA Sports FIFA, and that is that coin selling and coin promoting and farming coins, you will get banned. Now, I'm sorry to the guy that said in one of my older videos that this would happen. I didn't read the Twitter but first, so I didn't know what was going on, and I completely, you know, said this isn't true, you know, you don't get your account banned. They have actually confirmed that cheating you know, obviously buying coins is cheating, you will get banned, and you may be like, wait up PGHD, you promote coins, not anymore, you know, a lot of YouTubers are not going to be doing it anymore, you are going to get banned for it, and as you can see here, learn the rules of the game, find out how buying coins harms the game and puts your account at risk, so there's going to be a few screenshots in this video that do show you what EA, EA is saying is the reason for the broken servers, what's going to happen if you buy coins or promote them, so it's not just people who buy them, and it's not just people who do promote them, like myself, it is everyone. So if you are any way associated with a coin website for FIFA, you will get your account compromised and it will be banned. So I would highly suggest not buying coins. I think this will only take part at the start of FIFA 15. So if you want to buy coins now, I imagine you can. And by the way, if you want any cheap Xbox Live, check out G2A. I can say that, you know, you're allowed to promote companies like that, I'm sure. But you can see the ban process. So if you're buying and promoting, your first offense, warning, email, and in-game message. Second offence, Fuck Club Reset and FIFA Points Return. So that means if you've got any FIFA points in your account, I believe they just get taken away. If you have a, you know, good players in your club, they just delete your club and reset it. And then if you do it again, you get the red card, which is a permanent FIFA online ban, which means that account that you have will never be allowed to access any FIFA game online ever again. So it is quite strict. And then for coin selling and farming, so people who are actually selling coins, you know, the big websites... Permanent online ban for all EA games. So it's not just FIFA, that's Battlefield, any other EA title out there, you will be banned from it. Now, again, I'm not too sure if this is actually going to be enforced. I mean, last year I know that people like Road to Shore got banned on their accounts. But after that, like only like two or three people ever got banned. So I'm not too sure how much they're going to enforce this. I'd like to see it enforced, although I did promote coin sellers, you know. It doesn't mean that I'm completely for it, and this is the reason, you know, the effects of bot is the stuck transfers, the missing coins, the lost players, the no results. Apparently, e EA are saying this is all because of the bots, you know, that are buying coins to sell on. Now, I'm not too sure how true this is, you know, EA do have a lot of money, and it's no doubt that maybe they do have enough to fix it, but I can understand why this would be an issue, and because the market is so flooded with coins, that it's too much for the servers to handle. And, you know, in looking at two sides of the story you know without coin sellers it's going to suck if you can't buy good teams but look at it in another way that this you know the game can be a lot better if no one can buy coins then it's going to make it fairer and they might even make it easier to get coins i'm not sure i, I doubt they will but they may do so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video it's more of just an informational video so i'm not going to ask for a set amount of likes on it but if you did enjoy it do leave a like you know feel free to uh, all these other videos that i've done on fifa 15 and potential stuff that's going into the game has you know got really really good feedback on it so if you did enjoy obviously subscribe for more because i will update you on anything massive that comes out i'm not going to discuss every single thing that comes out because doing these types of videos you know they're, they're just screenshot videos and i feel that you don't want them all the time and i do loads of gameplay videos anyway so if something massive comes out about ultimate team or fifa in general then i will talk about it but thank you very much for watching guys and I will see you tomorrow for another video. Goodbye.